Diarrheal disease is a lot more of a problem than many people think, in the, certainly in the West. People have been spoiled by the experience that we think of diarrheal disease as perhaps something that happens on a holiday or we eat in a strange place and we get uh, an upset stomach for a couple of days and take medications if necessary and, and it's, it's uh, resolved. That doesn't reflect the reality of killing something like two million children every year. The idea that that simple disease kills people, stunts people, erodes their learning, erodes their educational outcomes, is very difficult to relate to. Well, first of all, it's not a single event. You lose your ability to absorb nutrients. You lose part of your growth potential. You're set back a little bit for life, but that doesn't stop once. That happens again and again and again. And gradually, a child with repeated diarrhea will slip away from the development curve. When it comes to young children, I mean, the basic challenge is just survival. We're sheltered from this. We don't remember times when one out of four, or one out of five children and family would die from a waterborne disease. It's very painful for a parent, you know, to see their child who is under five years old is in such a pain and, you know, just die because there's no safe drinking water. Can you imagine any greater challenge than losing a, a child? Uh, unfortunately, that's just a reality of life and to us, what are staggering numbers to them are just a fact of life. Mweo wandi, pamono lupo alwandi. Mkutu wafu wako, kuliba kaskulu, haba kashiwa, haba landa. Mkasansa muka, mkabanyensa nseshingi. When drinking bad water, sometimes children they die. So I get worried, sir, because they can suffer. I myself, I can suffer when drinking bad water. When I started researching the water crisis in the world, I was astounded at a sixth of our world's population plays Russian roulette every time they get a drink of water. Okay, is there anything I can do about that? I know how to do water well stuff because that's what I've done for 30 years. Well, it would make sense then if I could do something about it that maybe I should try to do something about it.